Oh yes, I'm very scared, especially on my husband with my two daughters. The six homicides on September 17th in this area has terrified some residents. The victim was found wearing white spandex shorts and a long dark shirt. This area was cordoned off at 92nd Avenue, just north of Southwest 8th Street. This scene was distressing to Sarah Gonzalez, who lives three homes away from where the woman was found. I am very scared, very, very scared. I'm, wor I'm, I'm very worried, too, because I have two daughters, especially my, my big one, Ileana. She's 19 years old. Metro Dade police are not saying how the woman was killed or if she was a prostitute. If we believe that it's, it's related and we understand what happened in the others, there's a, a good possibility the body was dumped here after she was uh, murdered. Traffic was restricted in the area. Only residents with proof of identity or licenses were allowed into the neighborhood. Most of the neighbors, they, they walk at night or jog in the neighborhood. It's always been a really quiet neighborhood. And, and now I know the neighbors will, and everyone, myself too, sometimes I walk or will be scared to walk. I, I feel that he could strike. Just I come home late at night sometimes, and I, I, you know, I fear coming home and finding somebody standing there and killing me. You never know if he's going to strike the uh, prostitute or if he's going to go to a regular citizen. Or... Police have released a sketch of a man who choked a prostitute several months before the first murder. The woman survived and described her attacker. The latest homicide occurs after intensive surveillance and the use of police decoys around Southwest 8th Street.